Hello all, here we are with another video and in this video I will be talking about two sides of Wendy Williams, a video that is long overdue. Okay, this is something that I always wanted to do. I feel like we should understand the woman who's in the middle of most controversies of most celebrities, especially color slash black celebrities. She's opinionated, honest, and give the facade of can't be messed with, no shit taker woman. But guess what? That's all bullshit. The real Wendy is far from what she displays on television. Her television persona is what she has to put forward to get paid. I mean, who wants to get advice from a weak, former drug addict, scared and insecure woman? But guess what? That's what she is. Now, I did a video about this, but they blocked some of it. I will leave the link below of the videos they allowed to be viewed. Okay, now, first understand that Wendy started off in the hip hop radio community as a natural woman. She mostly wore her natural hair, which by the way, was very beautiful. She also wore loose clothes and, didn't, and she didn't have any plastic surgery. Then deals started to come in and she was quickly converting over to television and not to mention Kelvin was in the picture now as well. So instead of being a Whoopi Goldberg, who I also did a video about and yes, they flagged the two. We'll leave the link below. Anyway, she too, yeah, Whoopi was also a drug addict, but never subjected herself to America's depiction of what a black slash color female Hollywood star or news gossip columnist should look like however wendy did she got the boob job maybe even a nose job her hair color got lighter and lighter to the point of her not being able to see herself wearing any other color aside from blonde because all other colors are unrecognizable to her now it was like once she got on that fake train it was hard for her to get off of course while she was faking her way to the top her husband and she marriage were deteriorating heck even I mean, she even admitted to it, wrote a book, and then she started relapsing on and off. Heck, it got so bad between their marriage that it was inconceivable. But Kelvin had been such a huge factor in her career, she couldn't afford to announce their split. And like I said, that would be admitting to lying about everything. Also admitting that she and Kelvin had been separated for some time now. I mean, come on now. She knew. <laughs> he was saying Sharina she knew that they were staying together heck she didn't care they had already been living a lie I mean that arrangement has been going on for years they just kept pretending that they were still a couple when needed to be and in turn making sure her image stayed intact of course that worked for a second but journalists and Kim and her competitions I'm sure were getting curious and that's when the bomb dropped. And all of her skeletons start coming out. And I believe she panicked and tried desperately to cover it up. First with the fainting. Then her menopause because of the fainting then a Graves disease, and then her claiming to have relapsed, which I believe is all bullshit and all PR, and I'm going to tell you why. You see, Wendy claims to be going to this sober house, which is an all men sober house, by the way, straight from work. But when you see her, she looks disheveled, almost as if she's portraying a crack addict role. The man whom she claims to be her sober coach is really her bodyguard. You see, I believe that Wendy is literally going in and probably chilling for a second, maybe laying down, talking, whatever, and then leaving as if she's done with her session. But in actuality, this is all a pure setup, an excuse to try and distract people from the truth. I believe Wendy didn't relapse. She isn't going to any facility. It's all PR bullcrap. 
Just like her alleged drunken hospitalization that conveniently no one has a picture of, of her going into the hospital and no records of her even being in a hospital, not even TMZ. Why? Because it didn't happen. You see, Wendy and Kelvin has been separated for years. Little Kevin knows this, which is why we haven't heard any comment from him. Her parents know this, which is why we haven't heard and or saw them as well. That time she was away, they were merely going through their assets and dividing everything. That's why the pap saw Kelvin spending like crazy. He has moved. He's preparing his life with his soon-to-be wife and daughter now. He no longer wants to abide by Wendy's desperate and pathetic arrangement anymore. I'm sure they will continue to co-parent and be there for their son and will support each other in any way they can. But that's it. They're literally just friends. Shireen is now demanding a marriage. She no longer wants to be the side chick. She wants a marriage. So I believe she is the one who leaked the old pics to the media. I believe Kelvin told her to do it. It was also a part of it as well. I mean, he's literally laying the breadcrumbs for either Wendy's downfall or their separation, which has conveniently been announced. You know, he's pulling the Vince, you know, Vince did to Tamar. I believe the good, adorning mother and wife that Wendy claims to be isn't true. Judging from what her ex-husband had said, I think there is a side of Wendy that we all just don't know. And she is desperately trying to keep it under wraps. But her skeletons are falling out and she may have to eventually address this. Tell me what you all think below.